What's going on? What's going on? Grand Rising. Uh, good afternoon. Wherever you is in the country, wherever you're watching this at. Uh, just want to get on here one time. And first off, I want to say uh, glory be to Yahweh in the name of my master, Yahshua Messiah, for another day. Uh, thank, I just want to thank him for all his wisdom, his knowledge, and his protection, you know. Um, sinning is something that um, we consistently engage in, um, willingly and unwillingly. Um, Book of Romans tells us that the wages of sin is death. Um, it's not the way to go. Anytime we try to figure things out in our own way, that's evil. We're not supposed to do it like that. We're supposed to be led by the Spirit. We're supposed to pick up our cross and follow our Master, your Son, Messiah, our big brother. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to do that every day. We're not supposed to try to seek of things of this world to be accepted or to get by or I got to provide because that just contradicts all everything what the Word says. Um, Yahweh saying his word that if you seek the first the kingdom of righteousness, all the things be added unto you. He also said, if you acknowledge me in all thy ways, I shall direct your path. Um, those are like major words, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's straight. You can't, you can't, that's just straightforward. You can't beat around it, you know? Um, I was looking at this little series called the Nickelodeon, behind the Nickelodeon, or something like that with the kids. They would give you the documentary about the kids and stuff like that, or what they was going through, and the things they had to face, and stuff like that to be on TV. And um, they were just realizing that everything, what they thought it was, not cracked up to be. And I feel like us as people ought to um, realize that nothing in this world is what it's cracked up to be. <laughs> um, we got to wake up and we got to realize that and uh, accept that. Um, we also have to accept the fact that um, we did not create ourselves. If you created something, Matter of fact, let me ask you a question. If you created something and you create to do a certain thing and operate a certain way and move a certain way, you feel what I'm saying? And and it didn't do that, what would you do? First thing I would do is try to fix it. I'd be like, look, man, we got I gotta fix it. I messed up. It's, it's, I gotta go back in there, I gotta rewire some things, retweet some things. Now, once I do that and that doesn't work. Then the next thing I probably end up doing is trying to figure out what's my next option. Now, in that process, um, what I told, what I, what I invented something to do that don't do it. If it's not doing it, then it's probably gonna get to the point where it start going against me and being discredited. Because if it's not doing, what I told it to do, and it's already been discredited. So. Um, with that destructive way of thinking, destructive way of moving, operating, and stuff like that, it's going to start to spill out into other things that I might have created. You feel what I'm saying? So in order for me to stop this from being a total loss, as someone says, if we driving cars or something, you know what I mean? And instead of this being like a total loss, I'm going to go I'm going to do everything I can to destroy that particular uh, thing that I, that I created. That don't do what I, do what I supposed to do. That do that do not do what I ask it to do. Straight up. So, um, speaking on uh, a lot of movies, a lot of situations. Uh, same thing with a job. You get a job, you get working. You know what I'm saying? And you working your job, and you ain't giving it your all. No fuck on. And get somebody new. You know what I'm saying? Um, same thing like a car. You know what I'm saying? Chevrolet been made Camaros, you know what I'm saying? And they've been making them cars since back in the day. But when them things ain't starting, when they start, when the sales start slowing down, they push it on to the side, you know what I'm saying? Because it's not being productive. It's not doing what it, what they created it to do, and that's to make them money. You feel what I'm saying? So with that being said, uh, Yahweh is the creator of, of us all. He created us. He know the numbers on our hairs, the numbers on the head on our hairs. Well, the number of hairs that's on our head, he knows. Um... You know, by all our organs, our internal organs, our muscles, our um, intestines, all that good stuff. You know, he, he created all this stuff, so he know everything from the rooty to the tooty. He, he gave us life for us to follow a certain pattern and to live a certain way. Now, he did not want us to be forceful because he's a gentleman. You know what I'm saying? So he's like, look, I, don't, I ain't going to force this on my peoples. These are my peoples. These are my children. These are my daughters, my sons. I'm not going to... Um, Force nothing on them. Um, so I'm going to give them a choice, just like he did Satan. So um, 
if we choose not to follow that, then it's like, okay, cool. You don't want to follow my rules. You want to follow my regulation. That's fine. Then what you do is, I got something for you later on. I'm going to give you a chance to get it right. And I'm telling you, I'm going to wait a long time. A long, long time. Uh, BCs, up to my long time. But eventually, that, that, that time will run out. Um, so, back to what I was saying. If we don't give ourselves to Yahweh and pick up our cross every day and accept Yahshua besides our Lord and Savior, the blood of the Lamb, if we don't do that, <laughs> we're going to be destroyed, people. Um, tell me what movie you've seen. Go back to our robot. When man created the robot in our robot, when the robot started doing what it wasn't supposed to do, what man started doing with the robot? Start destroying it. Because he said, oh, well, I'm just going to destroy it and just make another one. Because I, I created that. So it's no big deal for me to make something else. It's no big deal. That's not what they wanted to do. They prefer to keep those robots. But because the robots just wouldn't be obedient and follow the rules and the regulations of what was in programming to them, then they had to destroy them and start over. That's what y'all were going to do. He did it with Moses. Back in the day in the flood. I don't know if y'all read the Bible about the flood and stuff like that. If you're familiar with it. If not, get in your Bible. Um, Only eight people made it, y'all. Eight people made it. Then y'all should pop out and say, get what? For wide is a road to the, to the wide, wide road lead to destruction. And the narrow road lead to life. But he said only a few going to find it. A few. It's a billions of people in the world. But he said only a few going to find it, people. A few. A few mean like one, two, three. If that. So you got to think about that. Only a few going to find it. Why is that? That because everybody chasing the system. Everybody going to wait till the last minute. When the horn blow, it's going to be too late. Don't wait till the horn blow, because it's going to be too late then. Because that's when the process is going to be started. You can't bribe Yahweh. You can't negotiate with him. You can't offer him nothing. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no, I, I, I give you another chance. Because at that point in time, when that horn blow, the mercy done ran out. So, and the grace then ran out. If you ain't got, if you didn't get it, why, it was, why you could have got it all the time it was available, then you did it's just what it is. People gonna wanna die and not gonna wanna and not gonna die. Because Yahweh gave him life. So you can try to kill yourself, but if you say you can't be killed, then you can't die. Because he created you. So with that being said, I recommend all of us to reevaluate our whole lives. If we not if you're not waking up every morning living for Yahshua the Messiah, and I'm talking to myself too. We ain't, we, ain't, we ain't giving no air morning looking for y'all short Messiah, praying, reading our Bible then, practicing what we preach. Cause a lot of people tell you, man, I want to live, I want to live, boy. You can go, you do it. I go on a, I live in I live in a building right now. If I were not on everybody on my floor and I say you want to live or you want to die, I bet you a hundred million dollars on my life they're gonna say they want to live. I bet you a hundred million. And I only got a hundred M, but I know, I can I know the folk gonna be like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna um, I don't wanna die. I wanna live. But tell me, how many of us really doing what it takes to live? How many of us is picking up our crosses and following y'all short Messiah every day? How many of us is resorting to forgiveness and love rather than hate and revenge? How many of us is holding grudges or how many of us is walking in love? If you're walking in anything but love, then you're walking in destruction. To all my ladies out there that's looking for somebody to marry, date. If you date, don't have sex. If a man don't put Yahweh first in his life and he ain't picking up his cross and following Yahshua the Messiah every day, he don't love Yahshua more than he love you or himself, leave him alone. You can't get love from a demon. Demons don't know love. You understand what I'm saying? That's why so many fail. That's one of the reasons why so many fail relationships. It's not spiritual people. Uh, Ephesians say we don't fight against flesh and blood, but against spirits in, uh, in high places, and principalities and things of that nature, high places. It's uh, Ephesians chapter 6. It's in there. We're we'll looking for it. Um, so I can't be a demon and marry an angel. We ain't going to get along. Um, ain't no sister trying to be patient. Ain't no sense trying to figure it out. Um, there is no figuring it out. 
um, why you got to figure something out when Yahweh already got, already, already has it figured out for you? When he thought it, when he gave you life, he already had your life planned out for what he wanted you to do. You just, he just gave you a choice to choose him so you can get to that destination or you can choose your own destination. But I'm telling you, from my personal experience, ain't nothing more hard that can pay when you try to figure it out yourself. Stop chasing money. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Everybody worrying about their bag. Everybody worried about getting paid. Everybody worried about the V10s, the M5s. And everybody working about the Lamborghinis and the Lamborghini trucks and the Rolls Royce trucks and the BMWs and all these nice cars. They nice, they cool, but I'm be honest with you, man. This stuff can't save your soul. But the devil can use it for you to destroy your soul. Just because a man got money, he rich. When I realized, the man, 95% of these people that got money and rich, they demons, man. I can't, I can't, you know what I'm saying? I'd be wrong to say that they the one spreading all diseases, but uh, science shows that uh, rich men get a lot of women, and a lot of women like rich men. So, I think it's safe to say that they deal with a lot of people where myself not being as wealthy or as rich with a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? I won't have a lot of, I won't have a lot of the issues that, you know what I'm saying, that um, somebody that's rich would, you know what I'm saying? Um, I have more of a quiet life. You know what I'm saying? Well, a rich man might have more of a noisy life if he ain't led by the spirit of Yahweh and he ain't picking up his cross. Because not every man that's rich is a demon. That's why I said 90%. But that 10%, man, it's real, it's real scarce out there. You feel me? And I'm telling you, that 10% probably already laid up, tied up, and taken. Real talk. Live your life for Yahweh. He said, acknowledge me in all thy ways I shall direct thy paths. Allow him to direct your paths. Stop trying to figure it out on your own. Stop being a sucker for love. The wrong kind of love. If you want Yahweh is love, so you're gonna be a sucker for love, love Yahweh. Yahweh will provide all your needs and everything you need, and you ain't gotta sleep with him. He ain't gonna trick you. He ain't gonna come back and try to get something back from you. All he wants you to do is be obedient. Obedience is the best form of worship for the devil and for Yahweh. What you mean for the devil? Well, the devil wants you to do what you want to do. He's, his whole motto is do what thy will, do what we want to do. Don't worry about what Yahweh talking about. Do what you want to do. That's how you die. Because we didn't create ourselves. So how are we going to do what we want to do? That don't make sense. If I didn't create myself, how do I know what's good for me? How do I know what's best for me? Oh, you've been living 30, you've been living 30 something years. I still ain't figured it out. I still been beating my head up against the wall ever since I was ever since I came out the womb. At four on the seven seven seven, y'all check them out, man. Every morning, Monday through Friday, seven between seven thirty and eight thirty a.m. Four on the seven seven seven. Pick up the hat, gospelfits.com. That's a lamb. That's the blood of the lamb, and there's victory in the blood of the lamb. Please come out and support. Come out and get some of that word. Come out and get some of this knowledge. It could change your life. Come out in the world, people. For if you're friends of the world, you're an enemy of Yahweh. Who wants to be an enemy with somebody that created him? Yahweh, you think you love yourself? Nada. Yahshua the Messiah love, love you more than you love yourself. Yahweh love you more than you love yourself. Because he sent his son, his only begotten son that was perfect, did everything right to die for you and your sins. Regardless of what you did. He don't care. All he wants you to do is repent and confess and follow him. Live for Yahweh. Don't live for the devil. Let him guide you in every aspect of your life. He don't need no help. All he needs you to do is submit and obey. That's it. Submit, obey. Repent, submit, obey. That's it. Obey what? You don't read your Bible? Read your Bible. Every situation that you done been through, every situation that done happened or that done came through, somebody done been through it before and it's in your Bible on how to get through it. The Bible stands for basic instruction before leaving earth. Y'all ain't know? They said life didn't come with a manual. I disagree. The Bible is your manual. Babies don't come with manuals. I disagree. The Bible is your manual. If you operate 
in the spirit of Yahweh, you you gonna you gonna raise your kids right, you gonna live right, and you gonna be good on, down here. And when judgment day come, you gonna blow that horn. Get what? You gonna be going on top of them folk with the father and his son. Real talk. Enoch, Yahshua the Messiah, David. They just a name a few. Paul. You know what I'm saying? These some good folk, man. When that horn blow, them folk gone. Them folk gone. Abraham, Isaac. Well, not Isaac, my bad. But Abraham, you know what I'm saying? But well, I don't know. Isaac might be gone. Uh, but live for Yahweh, man. Do what he tell you to do. Live how he say live. And um, anything else is destruction. Don't smoke. Don't drink. That's why they call alcohol spirits. Because if you lose the control of yourself, then who's got control of you? Yahweh not in the strip clubs. Yahweh not at the bars. Yahweh's not at the uh, at the concerts. You know what I'm saying? He's not at these satanic people concerts. That's not where he at. Well, life is boring if we ain't, if we ain't living. If, if life is boring, if you if if you consider life to be boring, if you're not sinning, you got a lot. You, you got you got you got you got to go back and rethink that. I tell people all the time, my life is very very slow, but it's peaceful, and you can't buy peace. You got people like Rod Wave. All that man talk about his music is peace. You can't buy that. Millions of dollars and millions and millions of dollars, and you can't buy peace. And if you got millions and millions of dollars, you ain't got Yahweh, you ain't got nothing. Because money don't bring peace. It actually causes more destruction. If you ain't got Yahweh, how you going to be protected? If you ain't picking up your cross, how you going to look out for you? Every woman and that, that got that child, every father that got a child, if that child tell them what to do and that child do it, don't you reward that child? When that child follow your direction, don't that ain't that child protected by you? Don't you look after that child, make sure that child good. That whole philosophy, that whole concept, it came from Yahweh. Don't be destroyed, people. You control your destiny by the choice you make. The only choice you should make in the morning, if Yahweh will, will let us see when y'all wake up, is... I'm, I'm serving Yahweh today. And I'm dying, he gonna increase. In the discussion. Okay, Yahweh, what we got going today? In the name of my master, y'all show me side for the Yahweh, what we got going today? What we going, what we doing? Because I can't direct these toes. I can't direct these legs. I need your spirit. I need your, your guidance. I need your love. I need your, I need your um, protection. We should all wake up. That's what we should wake up with. If you're married, don't wake up and run to your wife. You wake up and hit your knees. And you thank Yahweh for another day. You go in your closet and you pray. You read your word. You meditate on that word. You let that word change you from the inside out. Not from the outside in, but from the inside out. Don't eat nothing that's destructive. Don't be with nobody that's destructive. Don't do anything that's destructive. Yahweh don't make no mistakes. All you transsexuals out there, no disrespect to y'all, but Yahweh don't make no mistakes. If you was born a woman, be beautiful woman that you are. If you was born a man, be the handsome man that you are. No, I'm not a homosexual. But Yahweh don't make mistakes. And he don't do anything ugly. We all got a purpose in this world. Because we's all here. Yahweh created us all. So when him creating us all, he had something in mind when he created us. And it wasn't for us to just be running the street, smoking dope, getting high, running behind women, having sex, fornicating, adult, committing adultery. That ain't what he gave us life to do, y'all. He didn't do that. He, that's not what he gave us life. He gave us life to be a blessing. To him first, and then everything else second. For all the married people out there, this the order it's supposed to be. Yahweh, Yahshua the Messiah, the man, the woman, and the kids in that order. If you ain't, if all the men out there, no disrespect to you, but if you if you ain't if Yahweh not living in you, then you not running your house. Just because you can pay some bills, that don't mean nothing. There's war going on out there, y'all. 
It's a war going on out there. Y'all been doing y'all research. Bible, put it like this. Bible prophecy is in the book of Revelation. It's being fulfilled. Babylon lives, Babylon lies, and Babylon is going to die. Don't die with it, people. It's victory in the blood of the Lamb. Pick up your cross every day. It don't care what nobody got to say. Stay in your own lane. And when the Spirit move you, you move. When the Spirit say stay, you stay. If you pray and you ain't got no answer, then don't do nothing. You wait on him. Because I'm going to say this and I can't say this enough. He perfect, people. He don't make mistakes. My whole life I've been trying to figure out, man, who I can get with, man. I can be perfect. Well, I ain't gonna be, I'm going to win everywhere I go, everywhere I step. I'm going to be mountain marching through that thing, but killing it. He been in my face my whole life. His name is Yahshua the Messiah. If I pick my cross up and I follow him, I'll be perfect. i never die. You won't either. But we got to learn how to stop living for ourselves and living for the man. Ain't no love like Yahweh love. Ain't no nigga in the world gonna love you like Yahweh love you. Excuse my, excuse my language, y'all. But ain't no guy gonna love you more than Yahweh love you. Ain't no woman gonna love you more than Yahweh love you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't no love out there better, y'all. Glory be to Yahweh in the name of our master, Yahshua Messiah. I'm gonna say. All these people dying rich. That money's still here, y'all. So how's he dying rich? Stop chasing money. For the love of money is the root of all evil. Not the money is the root of all evil. The love of money is the root of all evil. Don't let these folks trick you. Can they twist the verses on you if you let them? One way the devil can lead us to destruction is by the things we want. It said that in the book of James. For we're not tempted by our own will. But by, we're not tempted by anything but our own will. Things that we want. Things that we desire. Things that we crave. If you wake up in the morning and all you craving is Yahweh and all you craving is Yahshua the Messiah, the devil can't get you. That's how you stay wide. That's how he's he going to try. But he'll never succeed. You don't want nothing. You want to pray as Yahweh will be done concerning everything. Amen. In your discussion. Yahweh don't make mistakes. He perfect. He a real G. The real Elohim. Put a name on it. His name is Yahweh. His name is Yahshua the Messiah. Go look at the Passion of Christ. When Mary talking to Yahshua, when Mary was uh, talking to Yahshua the Messiah, she said, Yahshua, Yahshua. That's what she said. She didn't say Jesus. We don't know who Jesus is. I don't know Jesus. I never met a Jesus. I know my master is Yahshua the Messiah. Demons call out Jesus' name all the time. Ain't no power in that name. The power is in Yahshua the Messiah's name and Yahweh's name. Because they the real OGs. They the real OGs of love. The real OGs of sacrifice. The real OGs of creation. Yahshua was obedient. He was a perfect example of what everybody on this live that's looking at this live or whatever should be, including myself. All the parents out there that got kids, please do your best. I mean, do your best to govern everything that they're watching and paying attention to. Because the devil ain't everything. And, and number one goal is to seek, kill, and destroy. Ain't no love. That's why I'm telling the women that's looking for me. If he ain't put Yahweh first and, and picking up his cross and following Yahshua the Messiah, ain't no love. There ain't nothing but hate and death there. That's it. Don't worry about what people say or what people think. And start chasing money. I can't, I can't stress that some enough. That's all you see. Money, money, money. Everybody worrying about the bag. I'm one of them dudes that worry about my soul. Because I know I'm a sinner. I know I've committed sin after sin after sin, man. Habitual sinner. 
willingly and unwillingly. <laughs> that means sometimes I didn't do it on purpose and sometimes I did. I can 100% I can admit that, but I'm telling you, you can't serve two masters. You can only serve one or the other. You can't serve the devil there and play with Yahweh. You can't do that. You can't be going to church on Saturday and then getting up or going Saturday night, going to the club, smoking big blunts with a, a popping bottle. You can't do that. Don't work like that. You don't want to hear those words, and neither do I. I never knew you. Depart from me. Don't fear the feds. Fear Yahweh. I'm fed, I don't think the fed going to do it. Take your time, but Yahweh can take your life. He can take your spirit, your soul. He can destroy you because he created you. He's our creator. If it weren't for Yahweh, it wouldn't be nothing. If it weren't for Yahweh, sure Messiah would be all dead. We wouldn't have a chance of everlasting life on salvation. They paid the ultimate price. That's why I wake up in the morning, I don't ask for nothing. I say, let your way be done. Because you know, I already gave me everything I need to be more than a conqueror. Show me how to use it. Show me how to apply it to my everyday life. Show me how to spread it to my wife, spread it to my son, spread it to my, my uh, daughter. Show me how to get, show, push it on to them and show them how to do it. And by my actions, not by my words. Stop worrying about these celebrities, these football games, these basketball players, all that just a distraction. If the devil can keep up the scratch along with no hill, the screws. Stay focused on Yahweh. Keep your creep your cross on your back and keep walking. And when you fall down, don't worry, y'all sure gonna be right there. They pick you up and help you keep going. No matter what you go through, he with you. And I want to tell you this too. If you serving Yahweh, you put Yahweh first, ain't no such thing as being broke. What is that? I don't know why people think that if you're serving Yahweh, you're gonna be broke. That's the biggest myth I've ever heard in my life. At least one of them. Ain't no being broke. Y'all sure have so much people stealing from me. He ain't even know. Read your Bible, people. Yahweh, Yahweh is not going to let you lack and let the demons give his people they and reward them and Yahweh don't reward us. Don't worry like that. Let's learn to live for Yahweh on a consistent basis every day. I love Yahweh. And Yahweh told me if I love him, I keep his commandments. That's what he told me. So every day I wake up, I keep his commandments. The Sabbath is not on Sunday. It's Saturday, people. He says seven, six days I was in labor and the seventh day I worked. And the seventh day, I'm sorry, I didn't work. I rested. Please forgive me. Correction. He rested on the seventh day. Listen, people. Rest on the seventh day. Don't go buy nothing. Don't go. Don't go. Don't do, prepare for it like you prepare to go to a strip club. Are you prepare for you prepare for you finna prepare to go out of town on a vacation? Prepare for the Sabbath. It's every Saturday. Don't travel on the Sabbath. Don't be on no airplane. Don't be getting no. Don't let nobody service you on the Sabbath. You bought to do the servicing. You go help somebody. You go look out for somebody else. You go spend time with Yahweh in the, in the mountains or, or, or in the earth. When I say the mountains, I mean like at the park and with nature. Make sure you go to church. Don't never forsake the assembly. Don't do that. It's not a good smooth. Stop worshiping demons. Stop looking up to these rappers and these entertainers and these basketball players and these gang members. They just demons. They just demons running around. They be saved. Pray for them, but don't follow them. I get to a point where I don't even want to say niggas. I feel like they fought the one here. We ain't talking about the BS. They don't want to hear. I tell people all the time about E. Don't eat this. Don't eat that. Well, man, how you eat? I eat. I, eat. I don't eat no meat, no fish, no steak. What is that? I don't eat none of that, man. And I'm getting off the black beans and the pinto beans. All I miss garbanzo beans, man. If you got a little, a little under your stomach, you know they call it a, um, a little, a little, a little flab under the stomach that's hanging. Kill the, that starch. Kill the bread. Kill the pasta. Kill the sugars. Kill the uh, potatoes and kill the rice. The only rice you want to eat is wild rice. The only sugar that you got to have sugar that you want is coconut sugar or use honey 
Don't use sugar. Because cane ain't good for us, people. All that sugar that we've been good, it's cane sugar. Don't, don't, don't mess with that. I'm taking it, I'm taking the time to, I'm talking about everything. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all like, man, he been bouncing around. Like, I'm gonna bounce around. This is a lot of stuff been on my mind to be wanting to share it. Um, I just feel like y'all been telling me, man, you need to do another live. I'm like, ah, oh, okay. Because I am not camera friendly. But it ain't about me. And when I realized that, I put that to the side. Make sure you tithe. Make sure you give back. Make sure you walk in love. And I'm not only speaking to you guys, I'm speaking to myself as well. I don't do everything right. I ain't all the way right. But I continue to pray and I continue to ask Yahweh to please purge me of all my iniquities. All my sins. All the things I just willingly love to do. Been doing something for 30 some years, man. It takes time to break it off. You feel me? But that don't mean it can't be done. Remember, people, it's victory in the blood of the land. At Forerunner 777. He on Instagram. He come out. He come on Bible study every morning between 7:30 and 8 o'clock. Get out your bed. I don't care if you're resting, get out your bed. I don't care if you just came in from work. Turn it up. I don't care what you got going on. Stop and listen. Because I guarantee you everything in that world is temporary. Only Yahweh through our master, Yahshua the Messiah, will be live forever and be and live, have eternal life. So don't worry about your bills. Don't worry about your rest. Rest in him. <laughs> Pray to him. And always ask for forgiveness and repent. And stop fashioning out the system of things and stop following this list. Stop listening to the news. Fill your mind up with the word of Yahweh. Because if you don't fill your mind up with the word of Yahweh, the devil going to fill it up with a whole bunch of other stuff that's going to take you straight down and out if you don't stop it. So keep reading the word. But I can't spend all day in the word. You can't on your break. You go on a break and spend on the word. Then when you get up in the morning, you can read the word. Then, if, if you know what I'm saying, make sure you surround yourself with people that talk about the word. The conversation, when you have a conversation, you ain't talking about the new J's or the new M5s and all that crazy stuff. You're talking about what? You're talking about Yahweh. You're talking about Yahshua. You're talking about the blood of that land. You're talking about victory. Spread the gospel. Spread the word. That's what Yahshua the Messiah did. He spread the word, man. Nowadays, we can do it on our phones. You know, y'all should have had that. He did it on foot. He just walked around, did his thing. You know what I'm saying? But we got phones now. Technology, man. Use it to the best of your ability to bring and save as many souls as you can. If you ain't saving no souls, then what is you doing? Selfishness is not based out of love. That's based out of hate. <laughs> when you follow me, y'all should have you selfless. You can't tell me he was selfish and he just died on the cross with everybody. That's straight opposite. Come on, people. He's selfless. The only man to walk this earth that didn't make no mistakes, didn't do nothing wrong. And died and took on all his sins, all your sins, I'm sorry for you. Come on, man. But yeah, um, I just want to share this. I might post this up. I might post it. They might bless somebody. We want to get you on the at gospelfits.com. Go show over to gospelfits.com and know he ain't paying me or nothing. He got sweatshirts, t-shirts, and everything. Because what you wear matters. What you put on your body matters. For you didn't, you, you didn't, you didn't make that body that you in. I didn't make this body I'm in. So since I didn't make it, I don't got a right to do whatever I want to do with it. Who is me to put whatever I want to do with something I didn't create? Come on, people, make it make sense. Love y'all with all your heart, mind, body, and soul. I just say love I, I do, and never follow your heart. I don't care what you're saying, your heart. Don't follow it. Because that's what the devil is. The devil is in that heart. He wants you to follow the heart, man. Don't you feel like smoking, man? Go, bro, you have a big backwood. No, you don't. Don't roll the weed good. Don't roll the weed up. No, what you going to do? You going to pray and read your Bible. And you meditate on the word of Yahweh. 
And you ask Yahweh to take that taste out of your mouth. To take that weed, smell, whatever it is. Take it out your, out your whole vicinity. Tell them you don't want to have nothing else to do with it. Ask him to help you remove it. And stop trying to be successful in this world. Because when the world passes away, you're going to pass away with it. I'm telling you, he ain't going to lie. The Bible says people are going to want to die and can't die because of the wrath of Yahweh. You don't want to get caught up in that, people. For the man to be so grace, graceful and merciful, when that time ran out, words can express the pain and the misery that's, that's going to come from all the people that don't be obedient and don't submit and don't repent and turn from their evil ways. Don't, the devil, the biggest hater of them all, man. So why, why I say that? This dude was in heaven with Yahweh. Do you hear me? He was up there with the man, with Yahweh. Big boy kicking it, chilling, vibing. He was up there and got kicked out. Where they do that at? Heaven ain't no club. Heaven ain't no bar. What are they doing? So now you want to come out here and trick all us into not going I ain't going for that, y'all. I ain't going for that. I'm going to do what I got to do. I'm going to repent. Even when, I, even when I fall short, I'm going to repent, confess. Okay, he said you confess and forsake, you should have mercy. So I'm going to confess and forsake, and I'm going to have mercy, and I'm going to keep going. Stay away from sexual immortality. He has never been okay with all sexual sin. Never. Read the book. Read, read your Bible, man. Go back in the Old Testament. The house of Israel got caught up in that. He cut them off. You don't have nothing to do with that, man. That's why they say it's good for a man to be alone. But if they, but keep him from fornicating and adult becoming adultery, he should get married. Because marriage is honorable. And the bed and the, and the bed is the, the bed is defiled and the, and the marriage is honorable. But hormones and adulterers, Yahweh gonna judge. Stop listening. It ain't love, it's lust. I'm be sleeping around with all the different women and different men and stuff, man. You're sleeping with demons. Don't do that. You'll never be fulfilled like that. We are, we always been, myself, I always been looking for fulfillment. The only fulfillment I need is the man upstairs. That's it. To lead me and guide me every day, every night, every minute, every hour, every second, every month, and every year, too. Our life is supposed to be a service to others. Not a service for ourselves and what we can accomplish. Because what we can accomplish means nothing. Wisdom of the world is foolishness. Every time somebody gets some wisdom, they try to go against Yahweh like they got it all packed out. Sciences ain't Yahweh. They're not no Elohim. They ain't no gods. And watch who you're praying with, man. Everybody ain't praying. A God, Satan is a God to somebody. You got people sacrificing just like they used to sacrifice animals and stuff in the Old Testament for Yahweh for the for the sins. You got people sacrificing right now for the devil. Because the, the devil ain't nothing with a copycat. He wants to be Yahweh. So everything Yahweh does, he gonna copy it. Call them copycatters. The spirit of copycatting is the spirit of the devil. The spirit of competition is the spirit of the devil. Remember, the devil come to seek, kill, and destroy. Destruction come on all levels to what you wear, to what you eat, to what you put on, to what you, how you feel, to where you go, to what you say. It comes on all levels, people. That's why he say, guard your heart above all else, for out of it are the issues of life. Watch what you put in your eyes on. Watch what you put in your body. Watch what you listening to. Had to change my whole uh, playlist. I just had that Jeezy, that Future, and all that BS, man. Don't listen to that, man. Listen to that. Karen, Karen the Light. Check him out, man. Check him out. If you like the hip-hop with the nice, good beats and workout music, ain't he talking about the spirit? Ain't he talking about, he ain't talking about guns, drugs, sex, and violence. He ain't talking about that. He talking about Yahweh. He talking about Yahweh is his government. He's talking about praising Yahweh. He's talking about Christ walk, the Messiah walk. Y'all got to check that out, man. I don't care if you got iTunes, Spotify. Go check Korean the Light out, man. Some good music. It's uplifting. And it keep your mind focused on him and not you. 
If you're trying to figure things out yourself, that's evil. If you follow in your heart, you evil. That's evil. Don't do that. Turn from it. Well, I'm so successful. So, in the world, you're successful. This ain't where you need to worry about being successful at, though. For the world gonna pass away and everything in it. So stop trying to be successful in the world. Because I'm telling you, the devil know you want to be successful. And just like I told you in the book of James, he used what we like the most against us. I can't give you nothing or force nothing on you if you don't want it. So I got to use what you want and what you like to destroy you. That's how the devil think about it. And it makes perfectly good sense. Nothing new under the sun, people. Everything been done before, said and done before. You heard me? Y'all stay up, man. Y'all stay prayed up. Y'all stay praying. And uh, make sure y'all share this. You know what I'm saying? If y'all feel like you know somebody that might benefit from this message, man, share it. Um, and please come to the Bible study, man. Please, man. I've been rocking with bro for a little minute. Some people been walking with him for a longer time. But that, 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 put it like this. Your mama and your daddy were just a tool Yahweh used to create you. And Yahweh is using this guy right here called the Forerunner at seven 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 seven. The Forerunner seven seven seven. He's using this guy as one of his favorite tool to real air out to save as many souls as he can. You might want to get down with that. You might want to get down with that. That'd be the best thing you ever did. But Yahweh don't have no grandchildren, people. He don't got granddaughters and grandsons. He only got daughters and sons. So you got to get to know him for yourself. You can't know him through somebody else. But you get with people that know him for themselves and they can teach you. That spirit that's in them can jump out and come on you. Just like the spirit if you're looking at something stupid or somebody killing and shooting. That spirit jump out of that TV and into you. So if you putting Yahweh on your screen and Yahweh in your heart and Yahweh in your mind and them spirits jumping off of that and coming into you. Feed your heart with our love, man. Run away from destruction and death. Ain't no checking on and, and being evil. Ain't no checking it. Ain't number on destruction and heartache and pain. Most of us already know this information anyway. As long as we've been living, we've made some bad mistakes and bad decisions. So yeah, I just want to share this little message. I want to spit the game, spit this knowledge. I want to allow Yahweh to use me on this platform. But just keep in mind, I don't know if y'all seen our robot or seen the movie Megan. Don't be Megan and don't be the robots people because in the end, they was destroyed because they didn't do what the creator told them to do. And the same thing will happen to me and you and we don't do we, we do what the creator, our creator told us to do. Because whether we want to admit it or not, he is our creator. And I'm going to tell you this too. Yeah, sure the Messiah is Lord. He's master. I'm telling you. You can either admit it now or you're going to admit it later. But if you're, going, you're, going, you're going to say it. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. You ain't got to do it now, but you're going to do it. I'm going to get mine out of the way personally. So I'm telling you right now. Yahshua the Messiah is Lord. He's master. He's the king, the one true king. I don't know no other king but Yahshua the Messiah. That's it. That's the only king. Don't let nobody tell you anything different. Just because a dude can dribble a basketball don't mean N-O-T-H-I-N-G. You put Yahweh first. You serve Yahweh. Because all high ups are all devils. And don't be listening to Steve Harvey talking about somebody. It's more than one way to heaven. Bro, you tripping. Don't be listening to Kevin Gates. Them, them don't listen to them dudes. The Muslim, the, 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 uh, the Roman Catholic Church started Muslims. They ain't original. No disrespect to the Muslims, but y'all ain't original. The Roman Catholic Church started that religion. And if I'm not mistaken, they're the same type of people that killed Yahshua the Messiah. The Roman Catholics. The Pope. You know what I'm talking about? All them folk. All them folk satanic, man. 
If you don't, if you're not following y'all sure the Messiah, then you satanic. That goes for me and you. We can be satanic too. If we ain't following Yahweh, then we say we satanic too. There's only two forces, baby. Good or bad. You can't ain't no in-between. That's it. That is what it is. He been revealing a lot of things to me. I just get to praying. I be thinking. Deep in thought. This boy ain't even, don't even be winking sometimes. I just be thinking. Meditating. On what I just heard. What I just read. And the situation of what I'm looking at. I just pray. Not only for me. But I pray for everybody. That he helped me to see things the way. He see things. That he give me wisdom and knowledge that exceeds above all expectations. And that he teach me how to be patient. And even though that fire is hot, Shadrach, meet Shadrach, Abednego. You heard me? Even though that fire hot, it purifies you. It make you better. Pressure bust pipes, but also make diamonds. Don't let it bust your pipes, people. Let it make you diamonds. When you're going through trial and tribulation, things might not seem like they're going right. Glory be to Yahweh. Everything happened for a reason. Yahweh don't make no mistakes. And for all you people out there that feel like, oh, Yahweh ain't coming back, Yahweh ain't coming back. I'm praying for y'all. If he ain't came, if he was gonna come back, then why did people dying? And, and why did why did kids get raped? Because mankind got got an uh, option to make choice. Like I told you in the beginning of the video, Yahweh is a gentleman. He ain't gonna force himself on nobody. So if I give you a freedom to make a choice, then I have to let you and allow you the choice that you make. I gotta let I gotta allow you to allow all the consequences that come from that, whether it be good or bad, that just determines on the choice that you make. When I say you, I'm talking about myself too. Remember, people is victory in the blood. Blood of the lamb. And Kurt Franklin, well, how's a kite when he said that um that the lamb was gonna buy to to the uh that the lamb was gonna buy to the uh bow to the goat? He tripping. He was high as a pelican. He had to be, cause ain't no way, ain't no way. In the Bible, the goat is symbolizes Satan, and the lamb is is, is considered as the sheep. Or, the, or the, of um, it's a symbolizer of the Yahshua the Messiah, the lamb, the blood of the lamb. It's a, it symbolizes the Yahshua the Messiah. It's no way what he said is true. No way. It's no way. It's not gonna happen. Don't listen to uh, don't listen to Kevin Gates. Don't listen to uh, don't listen. What that boy name? What they got? What they got name? Pray for that man, Steve Harvey. Don't listen to him, man. I'm telling you. Talking about it more than one way. Talking about like cable, brother. This ain't no cable TV. What you think this is, bro? Why you, you blind? Why somebody take the blind photo of that man? Guy, I, 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 please. I'm gonna pray for him hard because he tripping. Ain't no way. No way. No way. I wouldn't even, I mean, I only want to see, I only want to see Steve Harvey on my, on my computer, my TV screen, any of that. I don't care where he at. I ain't there. If he coming down the street, I'm going all the way. I'm going to pray for that man. Because he tripping. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. It's not going to happen. It's only one way. Y'all show the Messiah. If you ain't born by the lamb, not the goat, but the lamb. It ain't getting going. If you ain't trying to get in through that way, ain't no, you can't get in that, you can't get in that, you can't get in that big dog. It ain't gonna happen. And don't wait till later on. You need to start putting your work in right now. You need to make that decision now because you have a choice to make a decision right now. Make your decision, people. Stop playing. Y'all think he playing? You think y'all ain't playing with us? We the only one down here play PlayStation, PS5s, Nintendo 64s. He don't play that. He, he's serious, man. Don't get, don't get, don't get tricked, people. Don't be listening to these celebrities, man. These folk, they folk lost sheep, man. Pray for them lost sheep, man. But don't, 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 I don't even know if they sheep. But pray for them folk, man. Some of the comments these folk be making be, be, be just crazy. I mean, I can't believe he just said that. And Kirk know better. He's seven-day fantasy out of Texas. He know better than that. 
Come on now. But listen. Make sure whatever you're listening to that you're hearing the words and not just the sermons. Because if they ain't talking true, you don't want to hear it. And don't always uh, judge the person that's making a, a positive statement. Because truth is truth. And Yahweh can use anybody. He can use anything. Because truth is the truth. Like the boy 4 on the say, whether you like it or not, the truth is the truth. At the 4 on the 7, 7, 7. You hear me? Make sure y'all come check the Bible study out, man. 7.30 every morning between 7.30 and 8 o'clock, man. At 4 on the 7, 7, 7, man. The 4 on the 7, 7, 7. Y'all come check him out, man. I'm telling you. Get your knowledge. Get your wisdom. I'm going to save your soul. He on YouTube. Check him out on YouTube. He on Twitter. He on Instagram. He on Facebook. I think he on Facebook. But I know he on TikTok. I ain't on Facebook, so I don't know. But he probably is. But check him out, man. All he doing is saving souls. Yahweh's using him as a, one of his favorite tools. He got to be one of Yahweh's favorite tools to use, man. I'm telling you. I'm just keeping the G. The man ain't letting me, and the man ain't leading people down the wrong way path, man. He coming out the word, man. And he make it make sense. So he give you a little bit, and then you take that little bit, and you go dive deeper. Change your whole life. For the better, people. Money don't change your life. Yahweh do. Through his son, our master, Yahshua the Messiah. Y'all stay prayed up. I make sure I keep y'all in my prayers. Y'all make sure y'all keep praying for me. And um, we just pray. And let's pray on one accord. And let's pray to Yahshua. I'm sorry. Let's pray through Yahshua to the Father Yahweh. And let's ask that his will be done. His thoughts be established in every way of our, every area of our lives. Sun up to sun down. I just don't want to, I just don't want to pass away. And I ain't in Yahshua the Messiah. Because that's the worst thing I can do. Some people think, if you ain't got no love insurance in and I don't die. If I die and I don't die, y'all should have messiah. And I'm dead. It's called the lake of fire. That's the wrath of Yahweh. I'm not trying to see it, you did. I'm not trying to witness it, you did. Y'all stay up. Appreciate you for watching the video. Please like and share. And um, make sure you keep praying. Y'all should have messiah. Make sure y'all pray. Make sure y'all praying to y'all way through y'all through our master y'all should say. And make sure y'all come and check Bible study out, man. Truth seeker right here, man. It's always been a dude that liked the truth. Even when it don't feel good and it ain't nice. Cause the truth is always good. And if I don't like the truth, it's because I'm living in darkness. <laughs> so check that out, man. So y'all be blessed. Y'all stay up. And uh love y'all to life. Peace.